Questions for Jason? Uh, Hell just in spurts. Uh, you know they they play zone most of the most of the game, so yeah, that's just a little different how you attack it and, and things like that. So I feel like you know Sunday was kind of more the route, and today was just kind of in spurts. You know, it, it happens like that sometimes. He even said he thought it's like a, a sign of respect to have an opponent play like a junk defense against you. What do you see the team doing that? Like, what do you make of it and kind of what's the key to it? Uh, you know, not be stagnant and not just shoot a bunch of threes. You know, when the team goes home, that's kind of what they want you to do, stand you up, pass around. Um, but move the ball, try to get in the middle. And just make plays. It makes sense the team now is basically giving you the ball, letting you figure it out. Do you feel like over the course of the game, you're kind of trying to solve the team's defense and figure out how you want to play with that? Yeah. Um, and, you know, I say this all the time, but it, I, I really do believe it just depends on time and score, situation, scenario. You know, I don't predetermine what I'm going to do. Um, you know, when I'm going up the floor, it's not just react to whatever the defense is doing. Um, I guess not at Harry yet. Uh, angry Tatum. <laughs> no, I think the game was just going back and forth. I think the third quarter, they went on a run. Um, either tied it up, went up, um, and you know, at that point, um, a couple of hard fouls, guys was competing. And, uh, you know, I think it was just kind of that time. You know, it was like, all right, um, let's get this done. And I think we all had that, that same mindset, um, not to play around with the game and just uh, go figure it out. What is it when you guys are on a run, like you've been on recently, what does it do for you when those kind of moments arrive? What is the confidence it gives you and kind of realizing, all right, we can turn this on now? Uh, I mean, that's competing at that level. That's when basketball, you know, that's when it's really fun. Uh, you know, when the game is close, you're going back and forth, and you come to a timeout and, you know, emotions are high and things like that, and we all just look at each other. Um, and, you know, everybody got their look in their eye that we're going to figure it out. And you know, everybody going to do what it takes. Um, and when you win a game like that, especially on the road, you know, that's, that's basketball. What's been the key during this four-game win streak for you guys? Defense, 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 defense. Uh, you know, held them to one-on-one tonight. Uh, I don't know what we have the other teams to, but I feel like we've been guarding pretty well. Obviously, against Brooklyn, we gave up 120, but, you know, best players in the world, guys going to make shots. But um, on a nightly basis, and that's the key. Defense, defense, defense. You had a moment with Isaiah after the game, game and then to hear the ovation. I know you guys didn't overlap, but can you share what he said to you and then just what it, what was it like to be on the floor for that? Yeah. Um, I just, I mean, obviously I've seen him play his whole career. Um, and, you know, I got a lot of respect for him. Um, you know, what he's done and, you know, things that he's been through. Um, you know, I don't think people understand that at five foot nine on a great day. You know, I was, and I remember being in college, you know, watching him, you know, the year before I came and averaging 28 points, 14 points in the fourth quarter, you know, scoring 50 in the playoffs and things like that. Um, you know, obviously, you got to be really special to do that, especially at that height um, and to have the heart that he does. So happy for him, happy they still get an opportunity. Uh, to do what he loves to do, things like that. Just, 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 just
shots away from guys. It just seems like this stretch 98, two games, 20, 44 points and 24 shots. Just seems like everything's in the flow of the game. You're not taking anything away from anybody. You saw Jalen get hot in the third. You try to get him going. It seems like you're playing the right way. Yeah, and uh, I think that's what's helped turn our season around, so to say, defense and, um, you know, it's playing the right way, you know, 95% of the time, you know, there's certain times where you got to take tough shots and things like that, but the majority of the game, playing the right way, um, you know, the game rewards that. You guys struggled uh, rushing offensively, you know, the first half of the season, defense always seemed to be there, but did you have, See it getting to this point this soon offensively where you guys are now been a top five in the league on offense for the last you know month and a half. Yeah, I mean I always had faith in us. You know, I seen some stat that, you know, I guess the first half of the season, everybody but Grant was shooting below their career average, um, and things like that. And you know, it's a long season, so I just knew that would turn around at some point. Um it's only a matter of time until we start hitting shots. Does it make you feel like, does this stress make you feel like you guys are capable more now just seeing this from your offense for this, for this long? Yeah, I like where we're at. Uh, last 15 games or so, keep playing the right way. Um, keep building towards, you know, doing what we're trying to do. Thank you.